Hello one and all and welcome to YouTuber Review, a show where we go through some of the biggest names in YouTube and analyze them for their quality of content, the current status of their channels, and the personalities they put behind it, while at the same time giving them a minor helping of criticism, but only as long as you spell minor like this. On our last episode, the White Wheel selection chose none other than one of the biggest comedy sketch channels here on YouTube, College Humor. A channel which at this point has grown so large that it's basically considered its own production company, employing a large group of talented actors to play out their sketches. And because of their large production company they have available with several different actors, writers, and editors, they're able to put out at least one video every single day. So really, in a way, they're kind of like BuzzFeed here on YouTube, being one of the largest companies here that make consistent videos and aren't already an established TV show. Only they're a lot more fun, with most of their content revolving around the subjects of parody, satire, and sometimes even the good old-fashioned slapstick here. Here and there. Let's go. And a lot of times those elements are mixed together with great writing to connect it all. And the subjects don't stay the same from video to video, they change quite often. On some days you can be watching a video about movies and painting, and the next you can be watching one about Costco memberships. And because of this large variety, their following has become quite large and their company very successful, which has provided some of their actors with amazing opportunities on both YouTube and outside of YouTube. But more on that in a bit, because you know, this is just the introduction, don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves. I mean, there's an absolute shit ton to talk about here, and there is a massive history behind College Humor, but we're gonna try and keep everything on the content that they produce on both YouTube, which does actually extend into other elements, mainly their TV show. But what we won't be doing is going into the entire history of the company itself and everything that went behind it. We're focusing on the content side, not the business side. Alright, so now that we're all on the same page, let's just go ahead and get right into the review. <laughs> The massive comedy sketch channel known as College Humor, according to their about page, joined the wonderful website known as YouTube on October 9th, 2006. Now that's pretty impressive, I mean that's more than a decade here on YouTube, round of applause. And over that time, they've gained themselves quite a large following, I mean honestly, look at that number. Oh my god, it's Lomang's Gutsches! And as far as other content goes, they do have a lesser known second channel by the name of CH2. It's kind of like their regular channel, just it has outtakes and a bunch of more weird stuff that they decide to throw on there. So really, it's just extra content on the side, and there's nothing wrong with that. Especially since on their main channel, they already post at least one video every day or two. Because remember, they have a lot of people working on their stuff. They're they're able to do that pretty easily. And normally these videos stick to a few different types, those being comedy sketches, which are their most common, trailers and sneak peeks of their TV show, which yes, we will talk a lot more about later, and most recently, random live events and streams of stuff that they have going on in their office, and actually they're pretty fun most of the time. And yes, they do leave them up. And yes, at one point they did have a YouTube Red series by the name of Bad internet. Basically, these were longer, more high production sketches than the ones you see on their channel normally, and the humor within them was a lot more subtle. And yes, by the way, because these are YouTube Red only videos, I am not able to show any of them here because, well, if I did, YouTube would likely fuck me up the ass with both ends of a double-ended dildo only to follow it up by stuffing in the obligatory bro fist to remind you that this is YouTube, bitch. So yeah, I'm not going to show any of it here, but yeah, that's basically what that series was, summarized down to a pretty basic point. And also, it's it's YouTube Red, I'm not supposed to show it unless you have the service. But hey, you know what I am able to show? Their fucking TV show, yes, a literal TV show, I'm able to show that. 
And that's because they regularly post mini clips of it to their YouTube channel to promote the show. But even still, I'm going to try and keep the footage that I show to a minimum in case True TV tries to do the same exact thing as if I were to show a YouTube Red video. Now, College Humor's original TV show goes by the name of Adam Ruins Everything and is hosted on True TV, aka the legends who created such inspiring and memorable TV shows such as Impractical Jokers and World's Dumbest Blanks featuring your favorite washed up celebrities. Now at first glance, Adam Ruins Everything seems like a show that wouldn't really fit on True TV, especially since its main focus seems to be on informing people the truth of common misconceptions or just showing them things that they may not have known about. It really does seem to be an out of place premise for a network such as True TV, and remains that way all the way up until the point you notice the child getting an IV of Powerade, and at that point you can start to realize what the show is about. Yes, they do have the intent to inform you of things, but they do it in the college humor type of way. Taking what is to be a real statement about something, then proceeding to combine it with clever writing and wit, as well as leaving in the stupid humor that appeals to the lowest common denominator. And while some instances do seem shoehorned in to just keep the viewer's attention during a preachy segment, the show does what it's meant to do quite well, inform and entertain you. The writing is spot on, although the characters do seem to be somewhat paper thin, always following the same cookie cutter pattern, which I can explain in just a few sentences. And with that alone, you'll know the structure of each and every episode before you even watch it. Bloke makes misconception, Adam goes in to argue the misconception, they continue to have a back and forth for a while, where Bloke continues to get progressively more upset at Adam. Eventually, Bloke accepts the truth and realizes that everything they know is a lie. They fall into a deep suicidal depression. Then Adam cheers them up and they all leave happy and well informed. The only variation being sometimes someone else does the teaching. They do try to create some type of story to connect topic to topic. Do you know, try and give reason to why he's explaining what he's explaining on that particular day. But really, it's still extremely weak and can easily be left out. They do what they try to do in the show extremely well. They inform and they entertain you. However, their story making could use quite a bit of work. Everything else is quite good in the show. The cast of College Humor does their jobs quite well and they act well during the show. The show itself is obviously well researched and they even go the extra step of including the sources of where they found the information on screen, allowing viewers to go and double check their information if they so choose to. And a lot of times they'll even bring on specialists and experts on whatever they're talking about for that episode. And yes, I do realize I just spent about four minutes talking about a TV show when I should be talking about their YouTube channel, but I, I think this is kind of a big deal. Because yes, well, it's a TV show, it's an average TV show, people watch it, it's good. But what's special here is that it was made by a group which is from YouTube. And as we know from the Smosh and Fred movies of the past, anything outside of YouTube that YouTubers tend to do kind of fucking sucks. The fact that Adam Ruins Everything is a great show is an amazing feat and a step in the right direction for YouTubers and their perception on the public. And yes, while I'm aware they aren't technically just YouTubers themselves, they're more of a production company, I'm gonna count it anyways because they started off making online videos. It's a glimmer of hope that YouTubers won't always be stuck to the shell that is video game movies, and shows that YouTubers can actually do good work and make good stuff if given the opportunity. So massive props to College Humor and Adam Ruins Everything for what they achieved. They they also had one more TV show by the name of Middle of the Night Show, and that was on MTV, which to my understanding was a major flop that was cancelled after 9 episodes. But back to the main point of this review, which is the College Humor YouTube channel. You know, the place that they regularly upload videos. Now I noticed something when I went to the very beginning of this channel, and that is that every single person
person that we watch now, aka the main cast of people that we watch now in the videos, is absolutely nowhere to be seen. And not just in the fact that they grew up and looked different, no, they, they just weren't there, they weren't hired yet. And from that point alone, everyone that was in those original videos, well, they're nowhere to be seen in the newer stuff. Which is a shame, because they do try to connect the characters to you, and you do get attached to a few of them. But because they are just actors, they can be replaced, and you can go back to the channel in a month or two, and a character or a person who you really liked may not be there anymore. Because once again, it is an acting job, and they could either be replaced, quit, or just move on to another job. Hell, we already saw an example of it with Adam Ruins Everything, with Adam and Emily being uh, very prevalent college humor actors, but once they got the job with Adam Ruins Everything, they haven't been featured since. However, everyone else just kind of disappears. Cough, cough, Jake and Amir, cough, cough. And to show you exactly what I mean by that, let's just take a look at their very first video ever posted to their channel called Flipping Off Hot Girls. Star hour, okay? A dark day for the rural hot chicks. Yeah, that's basically about it. You did that? A piece of paper? Thank you very much. Yeah, the entire video could be taken as a satire on prank videos and how shitty they are. They even got gone wrong before it became a thing. And this was 10 years ago. I wonder if people actually took this as inspiration. And the video itself, it's pretty fucking cringy and I'm not able to tell if it was either done on purpose or if they just accidentally made it that way. Either way, it was pretty amateur. But still, even back then, it served to establish the fact that they're willing to make a commentary about anything, any subject really. Seriously, ignoring the fact they made three parts to the Street Fighter episodes, you can see the variety. And you can see the variety continues today with everything from Home Alone parodies to Honest Game Nights. If something's popular enough or has a large enough following that would be relatable to most people, they'll likely make fun of it and probably piss off a few people in the process. And the amazing thing about this production company is is that they will smile in your face as they give you the middle finger. They genuinely do not give a shit. They're there to poke fun at things and make you laugh in the process. They don't care about if they offend you. They aren't like the other corporate entities here on YouTube that just try to save face and be unoffensive to everyone, yet at the same time in their mission to do that are offensive to basically everybody. Sure, it does create an environment where some videos are hits and others are misses, but that can be said about any channel, really. And what's really important here is that we have a larger entity, a production company, who isn't afraid to go against the SJW culture we have today. They stay true to their mission of comedy and entertainment. And it really gives off the sense that they're actual YouTubers first instead of just a company. I know that doesn't speak for the quality of the videos, but we'll get to that next, okay? I just wanted to commend them for that first. Now, as far as the sketches go on the channel, they can be broken down into a very simple system. AKA one of the staples of comedy that you have one sane person in a world of people who are complete freaks. And then, of course, there's the opposite side of the coin of that as well. One insane person alongside a bunch of normal people. Not that that's that big of a complaint, I mean it's one of the main tenets of comedy writing, but once you begin to notice it in the videos, it, it's kind of hard to ignore. Luckily, they don't just stick to those formats and also go into the elements of satire and parody, which is extremely positive because if they were to just stick to those two, videos themselves would become extremely boring and predictable. Instead, they keep you curious and on the edge of your seat, wondering who exactly they're going to poke fun at today, while at the same time wondering which of its many orifices they're going to stuff their merry dildo in that day. As far as production goes, it's near professional quality. Everything from the lighting to the audio to the shots actually used, it's all professional. Sure, not a lot of them have big money spent on them and have fancy editing effects thrown in. Hell, a large number of the skits are just filmed in their office loft area. But that doesn't really matter. What matters is what you see on screen and if it's entertaining or not. And college humor normally succeeds by pushing the envelope on what should be a normal thing to the extreme limits of where that thing can go. 
show while at the same time making sure to keep the video normally as short as possible as to not draw out. With most videos being around 3 to 5 minutes long, they really do not overstay their welcome and they entertain you while they're around. And to show you what I mean by all that, and as well as show you exactly how much they've improved since their first video, let's take a look at their newest video, which at the time of recording this, is a review on the brand new Apple AirPods. What's up guys, Handy Dan here, about to open up my new Apple wireless headphones, the Air AirPods. Okay, let's crack it open. Now we're cooking. <laughs> the added weight of the cord is what makes them fall out of your ear. That's something to think about. Yeah, it's a parody on unboxing videos and how over the top a lot of tech reviewers are. It's a fucking ice cream sundae, you get a double scoop on this one. And yes, like most college humor videos, it does get to the point where it loses all sense of sanity. But again, it was a very high quality video and it was entertaining. And really that alone just summarizes most college humor videos. And with that, I don't really think there's too much more to say on the matter. So I guess give them their final score? So in case you are new here, we rate channels under four different categories. A 9 to 10 gets a subscribe, a 6 to 8 gets a check them out, a 4 to 5 gets a maybe watch one of their videos and draw your own opinions, and then a 1 to 3 gets them an avoid at all costs. So where exactly along that scale does college humor fit in? Well, honestly, at the end of the day, I am going to have to give College Humor a 9 out of 10. They are definitely worth subscribing to. Seriously, unless you're the type of person that gets triggered by a fly in your soup because it's not racially diverse enough, you're almost guaranteed to find something that resonates with you with this channel. Sure, after a while, the formats do get a bit predictable, and really that's the only reason that they have been kept from getting a perfect 10, but still it represents a safe place that people are able to go to at the end of the day to either laugh or at least crack a smile. They are a talented group of actors and they do an amazing job in their skits. At the end of the day, I do recommend that you go and check out College Humor if by some chance they have flown under your radar for this long, because I can almost guarantee you that you will find something that you enjoy over on that channel. And with that being said guys, it is once again time to spin the mighty wheel of selection. Wait, no, what, what, there must be some kind of mistake, call it, call it humor again, we, we just did the review on it, there, there must be, there must be a horrible, just kidding, we have another volunteer. And that person is none other than the one, the only, Sky Williams, he messaged me on Twitter one day just asking for a review, I, I don't know why, he just kinda did. So hey man, I'm happy to oblige, you got it. So make sure you keep an eye out for that one because I can guarantee that that is going to be fun. So anyways guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked it or agreed with anything that I said in the video, make sure you hit that like button and if you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. I would love a new addition to the Snake Army. Also, make sure if you've made it to this point in the review and you have not gone and done it yet, well, uh, go ahead and click the annotation on screen to go right over to College Humor's channel and, uh, go fucking subscribe to them. They're, they're pretty good people. Seriously, I very highly recommend them and I think that you guys will like them as well. And also, speaking of checking people out, uh, well, I have someone else on screen here. He's been on almost every single video. All you have to do is click on him, go right over to his channel. His name's Lord Bung. He just put out a new video. It was pretty fucking dope. You should definitely do it at some point. I, I mean, he, he does need the love. But anyways, guys, with that aside, make sure you go follow me on Twitter, and I will see you on the next video tomorrow. As always, Whiplash, signing out. <laughs>